On today's show, we outline why a combination of steps by the government and the real estate industry over the last few years have made it safe to remove ABSD. Next on XTV with your host, Mark Lone. Good day, I'm Mark Lone. In the last few years, Singapore's government and real estate industry have worked hard to stabilize the property market. As we know from SRX research, both HDB and private apartment resale prices have declined as a result of the increase in supply and the government cooling demand with TDSR, which limits borrowing. But as you can see from this table, these measures have come at a cost. The value of a home, which is the primary savings vehicle for most households, has not kept up with the increase in median household income and GDP. As major economies slow and threaten a worldwide recession, now is the time to take action to bolster Singapore's property markets and promote stable growth. A good place to start is with the additional buyer stamp duty known as ABSD. Removing it would increase the flow of capital in the property markets and, with the proper restrictions, promote long-term asset appreciation and stimulate the economy. But we have some property analysts worrying that if the government were to ease ABSD, prices would then return with a vengeance to uncontrollable levels and erase all the hard work of six years of cooling measures. They also worry that overseas capital will flow out as easily as it flows in, destabilizing the property market. We would suggest that these concerns can be addressed. The market of today is much different from that of 2009. Not only is there more housing supply today, but we have learned what policy measures work and which ones don't. Since 2009, the market has implemented three tools that make it safe to remove ABSD. Standardized underwriting, flexible speculation controls, transparent pricing. MAS has taken four bold actions to standardize the underwriting process. It has Tighten the loan-to-value limits for different loan scenarios. Reduce maximum loan tenures. Tighten the mortgage servicing ratio for HDB loans to 30%. Impose a total debt servicing ratio of 60%. These MAS measures have proven to be much more effective in controlling demand than ABSD. With TDSR and MSR in place, we can be confident that removing ABSD will not return the market to the days of 2009. The second protection we have in place that was not there in 2009 is the seller stamp duty or SSD. No economy wants hot money, but every economy needs capital to spur business and asset growth. Since good overseas capital spurs both the economy and price appreciation in the housing market, the trick is not to prevent capital from coming into Singapore, which is precisely what ABSD does, but to keep good capital from leaving. Rules designed to prevent speculation, like SSD, help the property market by attracting long-term investors who are committed to the long-term sustainability of their homes. Investors are more than used to long lock-in periods, especially those that are investing with private companies. The message to them is simple. If you want the safe haven of Singapore, then you need to commit to Singapore by staying invested in property for the long term. It's a fair trade. Finally, Singapore has much more transparency in pricing than it did during the go-go years. Since 2012, the government has made property data more accessible to the industry and to the general public. Meanwhile, the estate agencies and Street Sign Technology Group, a subsidiary of Singapore Press Holdings formed by the Singapore Real Estate Exchange, SRX, to improve pricing transparency, productivity and market efficiencies. Additionally, all market participants, including consumers, property agents, bankers, underwriters, policy analysts and decision makers, have access to pricing tools like X-Value and Home Report. No longer are people making decisions in the dark. Pricing transparency safeguards the market against speculation and housing bubbles. Much has changed since the government scrapped the interest absorption scheme and interest-only loans in 2009. Since then, standardized underwriting rules, speculation controls and pricing technology have made it safe to remove ABSD without the fear of returning to 2009. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching this episode of XTV. Join us next week for a how-to episode on pricing property. I'm Mark Lun. Have a good day.